In this lesson, we're going to focus on calculating the mode of the group data shown below. So in the first column, we have the grades of different students in the class. The second column has the frequency or the number of students that had those scores. The third column is the cumulative frequency. Now, the formula that we need to calculate the mode is this formula. The mode is equal to L. L is the lower boundary of the modal class plus H. H is the size of that class times F sub M. FM is the frequency of the modal class minus F1, which is the frequency of the preceding class, over 2 FM minus F1 minus F2. F2 is the frequency of the succeeding class. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find the modal class. The modal class is the class that has the mode in it. And the mode is the one with the highest frequency. So the highest frequency is going to be this class here. Now, what we need to do is we need to calculate L, the lower boundary of that class. If these two numbers are the same, L would be 70. If they're different, it's going to be the midpoint of those numbers. The midpoint of 69 and 70, which is basically the average of those two numbers, uh, that's going to be 69.5. So that's the value of L. Now, H is going to be the difference between the upper boundary and the lower boundary of that class. The upper boundary, which is going to be the midpoint of 79 and 80, that's 79.5. The lower boundary, we know it's 69.5. So the size of the interval is 10. So that's H. We don't want to do 79 minus 70 because that will give us 9 and the answer will be different. Now, the frequency of the modal class, we have this number right here. It's 9. The frequency of the preceding class is this number here, which is 6. And then this is going to be 2 times 9 minus 6. The frequency of the succeeding class, the class above the modal class, that's going to be 8. So now we just got to plug in everything into that formula to get the answer. Nine minus six is three. Two times nine is 18. 18 minus eight is 10. 10 minus six is four. You know what? I need to correct something. We got H as 10. I don't know why I put nine again. I'm making too many mistakes today. So H is 10. So this is going to be 69.5 plus 10 times 3 is 30 divided by 4. 30 divided by 4 is 7.5. If we add that to 69.5, we get 77. So 77 is the mode of the group data here. And it makes sense because 77 is within the modal class. It's between 70 and 79. And we can see why it's closer to 79 than 70. Notice that the majority of the numbers, they're towards the higher grades. More students scored higher than 70. We had less students scoring lower than 70. So the mode is going to be in the upper range of this interval since we have the highest frequencies there. So that's it for this video. That's how you can calculate the mode of group data whenever you have it.
By the way, for those of you who want access to the formulas like this one, like how to calculate the mode or how to calculate the median of group data or how to calculate variance or standard deviation, I have a formula sheet in the description section below, which I think is going to be very helpful for you. So feel free to download that when you can. Thanks again for watching.